This is Cars with Curves, and I'm Gavin, your host, and now we're fixing to go back to the Barrett-Jackson auction, and this is the Wednesday results that we're going to give you. We're going to pick highlights of different cars that I'm picking out to show you. So, the first one we're going to is a 1976 Cadillac, Cadillac Eldorado convertible. And this car is a big, heavy car, you know, and it's immaculate condition, and it went for pretty good money. So, let's take a look at the photos here. Okay, this is your convertible. Okay, now... This was bought from the Elvis Presley Museum. See, the engine compartment is immaculately clean. The Elvis Presley Museum, back a number of years ago, and it had 21,000 miles on it. Now it has 67,000 miles. I mean, it's perfect condition. So, all right, give me a price. Give me a price, let you know. Drum roll, please. 20,900 smackaroos. There you go. Moving on to the next car. 1965 Ford Galaxy 500 custom convertible. Now that's a long name right there. <laughs> Why don't you just come out with like a 1972 Pinto? Short, short, short. But uh, well, we got a Ford Galaxy right now. So anyway, this is custom. So everything's custom on this car and everything's brand new on this car. And uh, I tell you what photos here we go okay here it is black with a black convertible top and it's looking sharp with uh, mag wheels on it take a look at that and now I tell you what let's move over let's move over to uh, the engine compartment take a look at the engine compartment right there clean 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 that is gorgeous and now the interior let's go to the interior here right now the interior Bench seats, I can sit in those all day long, you know, and it looks great from the side view and all. I tell you what, uh, this has a 352 cubic inch engine in it, uh, and it is it, it's sold for a, a nice size chunk of change. Okay, this car has only 2,000 miles since the car was rebuilt, so... Price now, 33,000 smacks -roos. Onward to the next car. Okay, now we have a 1995 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. You know, Z28s were really fast cars, and then the emissions came in by the government and all this other stuff and basically detuned the car. And this one it has uh, like 285 horsepower. And this was a... Uh, 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 a pace car for the NASCAR Brickyard 400. Let's take a look at some photos here. Okay, here it is, the Brickyard 400 pace car right there. There's the engine right there, clean, clean engine. Uh, just small amounts of horsepower, as I was telling you. It's all clean, and uh, there's very few of these made, so what do you think it went for? Okay, 17,600 bucks. That's what it went for. Next car coming on. Okay, now we have another car. It's a 1987 Buick Grand National. Talking about a muscle car. It burns some rubber, but, it, but they're saying it had small horsepower because of course the insurance companies. Take a look and see. Okay. Now you see the side shot of this Grand National hopped up muscle car. <laughs> uh, now, this car has only got, um, now this car, we don't know what the mileage is, but it had 245 horsepower. horsepower. It, I'm, I'm just surprised that it's horsepower is so small because of the insurance companies. So. Let's see the price now. Twenty-five thousand three hundred smacks rouge. That's it for the Grand National. On to the next card. Okay, nineteen eighty Chevrolet Corvette T tops. They made T tops a short time with Corvettes, so we're fixing to look at one right now. 
onward to the photos. Now this Corvette had a three-speed automatic and you see as it is maroon and a nice clean engine at all. And the reason why it's so clean because it had a head of a maroon interior now. The mileage is 24,115 miles. Okay, so you know it brought some good money. So, let's find out. Okay, the price, 19,800 bucks. This would have been a perfect car for a student at A&M University since everything is maroon colors there. So, hey, onward to the next car. Okay, now we have a 1974 Volkswagen thing convertible and it looks like it was down in Acapulco at some resort hotel <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good looking thing it, the thing, the thing take what? let's take a look and you'll see okay, here's the engine back here in the back it's a little small four-cylinder engine. There's the interior. Like I said, the stripes and everything is like from down in Acapulco probably was. I, I mean, it's been refurbished and looks great. Look at the scoops down the side right there. Scoops. See, there's some scoops right there. Right there, scoops. That, that The scoops is for so the air could go into the engine because it's an air-cooled engine. And this went for nice size money. Let's check it out. Okay, the price, cha-ching, cha-ching, $25,300, or, or what, how do you say it in uh, Mexican money? Dinero, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, onward to the next car. Except for the convertible top that was installed six years ago. 1989 Mercedes-Benz. 560 SL Roadster. That means the little convertible and all. And back then, this car was 65,000 brand spanking new. Take a look at the photos. Okay, here it is, convertible. Looking good without the top, you know. And, and it's like, uh, the reason why it's going for good money is because it has the original miles, 20,000 original miles on the car. So every, the only thing that's been changed is, is the convertible top. But look at the interior right here. The interior looks great. I mean, whew, I, I wouldn't mind owning that too. Look at it. This, there it is with the top on All right. Here's the price. Okay. The price is 36,300 smackaroos. That was a really good price for that car for all from the original mile. Okay, now we have a 1946 Kraft Custom Midget Car. This is a car you do not take a date with at all because it's only a one-seater. And you're fixing to see why. 1946, I can't believe it. Take a look. Okay, here it is. A one-seater, okay, here it is, a one-seater, and as you see, it's small, and in 1959, it won 10 races, and in 1960, it won eight, and basically, it, they put it up after that in the museum, so it's been in the museum for many years. All right, what do you think about it on the price? Okay, 16500 dollars <laughs> onward to the next car I want it good now yes they're good 1958 Chevrolet Bel Air you know there's a city in Hollywood called Bel Air this car did not come from Bel Air <laughs> okay this car had a 283 cubic inch engine in it and it's blue take a look Okay, as I told you, it's blue. Take a look. It's got mag wheels on it. You know, nice mag wheels that went on a lot of the uh, Mustangs back years ago. Clean, clean lines. Cur curvy lines like the cars with curve show. And the engine, super clean, 283 cubic inch engine. All right, let's see the, oh, bench seats, that's right. I can slide right on in there. All right, let's take a look at the price. 
the price for this car went for 33,000 smacks, a ruse. So now, onward to the next car. Okay, here's one with a real long name to it. A 1998 Chevrolet Corvette Indy Pace Car Convertible. And that was long, right? <laughs> and they had some gorgeous colors, purple and yellow colors and all, and yellow wheels. And uh, oh, just take a look and see. Okay, there it is. Gorgeous. Purple with yellow stripes. Take a look at that. I didn't like the nose on those cars at all, but hey, it looks good as a convertible. But the one thing's good about this car had low miles. Look at the engine. Clean, clean, clean. The low miles was 4,180 miles. Look at that interior. It's gorgeous. Now, I'm fixing to give you a price on this car now. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's the price. $30,800. That, that was pretty good for uh, that small of mileage. I'm surprised it really didn't go even more than that. Onwards to the next car. Okay, now our last car for this evening is a 1954 MG TF convertible. Now, I don't know what the TF stands for, but I'm sure it's meant for something, you know. So, I tell you what, let's take a look at some photos and you can see yourself. Okay, here it is. Take a look. It's red with a black convertible top. And it is sharp looking. We're talking wire wheels. A little four-cylinder engine, 1.5 liter. And I can actually fit in this because there's no top on the car. <laughs> look at a little tiny engine. Look at that. Oh, golly. You might get 200 miles to the gallon a little small engine anyway let's check on the price okay forty four thousand dollars for the mg wow well there must have been some, a lot of bidding going on for that car i tell you what this is our show cars with curves ending right now this is the wednesday um results of the barrett jackson auction so Look next for the Thursday results, and that's coming up next.